Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope it's fantastic. It is another Monday here. What is happening? What, what is going on in the world when I have two of the Mondays so close together? Something Something's happening. I um, should probably bet on something else. Um, today was slated to be a pretty good day. My kid yesterday asked me if she could come over early today. So she was at her mom's last week. She had a doctor's appointment at 1 p.m. today, and her mom was unavailable, and she'd rather not go with her with her stepdad. So she asked me if she could come over this morning, and I take her, and I said, yeah, come on over. No problem. That was yesterday. I went to visit my parents yesterday. Uh... And my dad wanted to go to Wendy's and get some Frosties. So I said, let's go to Wendy's and get some Frosties. And I put him in my car and I drove down his hill and I went uh, right on the road at the bottom of his hill and I curbed my car. Never happened before in my life. I popped a tire. I mean, I've curbed the car, but I've never popped the tire. I popped the rear tire, uh, which meant for the first time in 30 years of driving yesterday, I had to change a tire on the side of the road. So I did that. We, the, of course, the spare tire in my used car that I've never looked at uh, was flat, so we had to go fill it up. It was fine. Got our Frosties, went home. Whatever. No big deal. Called the tire shop this morning. They said, well, we can't, we can't, we ha we're booked until the 18th. And I said, cool, can I just bring it and leave it at your place and you just get to it when you get to it? And they were like, sure. So I worked this morning. I took the afternoon off for my kid. I worked this morning. Uh, I asked my parents if I could borrow their car to take my kid to her appointment. They said, yeah. They, so I went and dropped the car off at the tire shop. They picked me up, uh, got the kid, went to the appointment while I'm, so literally like three or four hours after I dropped off the car, three hours after I dropped off the car, they said it was ready. They couldn't get me until the 18th, but they got it done in two or three hours. It was a very short turnaround. So I brought the kid home, I went and picked my parents, my mom up, we went out, picked up the car, now we're back. So right now, it's like 4.30 in the evening. Uh, you might see this video shortly, but I don't know because my kid now has five o'clock band practice. Oh, by the way, I left my house key on my mom's van key, so I have to go back to her house and pick the keys up after I drop my kid off at band practice. At 5.30, I have a parent meeting for spring softball. We, uh, we're we starting our flex practice days. I have to go to the parent meeting for spring softball at 5.30, pick my kid up at 7, and then drive 20 minutes to her next thing, which is softball practice. That's <laughs> uh, another town over um, from 7.30 until 9. So you might see this video tonight. I don't know. It's a wild day. It's a wild, wild day. Uh, Money I didn't need to spend, but thankfully, you, like uh, last week, uh, maybe Saturday actually, uh, we went and bought new furniture. My parents decided to give me, uh, and me, me and Malia, some money for a wedding gift. They never really, like we didn't have a wedding reception or anything like that. So they said, well, um, we had been talking about getting some recliners for the living room. And they said, we'll buy you some recliners. And we went and looked and we couldn't find anything we liked. But we did find uh, like a dual... Um, it's a split love seat that has a console a console love seat that we liked. Uh, so my parents decided to give us some money. While we were there, we decided we can't, like, it's going to look weird to have different couches. So we just bought the matching couch. So we just spent a bunch of money on furniture. And then I blew this tire, which is money I didn't need to sell. You know, that's $200 I could have used towards my next bass guitar or whatever. It's a Monday. What is happening? I don't know. But I had a good weekend. I went to my sister's on Saturday. Uh, we went and bought the furniture. Went to my sister's house. Uh, had a you know hung out with her friends for a little while. Malia went back there yesterday. I hung out, played bass guitar. We played cricket or we played pickleball yesterday morning. Uh, it was a good weekend. Good long weekend. Uh, just another weird Monday. I don't know what's happening in my world right now. So. I'm going to cut this short. I'm going to try to upload it before I go to all these practices I have to go to tonight. 
and go pick my keys up for my mom. I had to go to the bank. Oh, that was part of it. My mom gave me the money. I had to go to the bank, put that in the bank before coming back here. Like, it's been, this is a day. But also, like, cool, let's go. I don't, like, let, all right, let's just get it done, you know? Get in that mindset. Okay. Tomorrow will be something different. What do you want to talk about? Give me something to talk about tomorrow. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Uh, today's word you should know sound smart is wily. It's an adjective meaning crafty and cunning. When it comes to parting Brock from his inheritance, the normally charming Mallory can be quite wily. Wily. W-L-Y. W-I-L-Y. I mean, wily coyote, right? We all know that. Like, that's not a, that's a word we know. Come on. I mean, at least people my age.